pa ang mga videos nyo at nagra-rank sa YouTube search na kagaya nito? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I optimized my YouTube videos to rank high on YouTube search. Before anything else, for those of you who are new to my channel, gumagawa po ako ng mga video editing tutorials, tips and tricks, English lessons, practice tests for civil service and IELTS exams, and also inspirational and daily vlogs. So if you're interested in this kind of content, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para naman maging updated kayo sa mga new uploads ko. And if you like this video, please hit like and leave a comment. Let me know kung paano ninyo ina-optimize yung mga videos ninyo. Paano ka maba-optimize ang mga videos natin para mag sa YouTube search? First, we need to understand SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. YouTube is the second most popular search engine right after Google with a total number of 2.6 billion monthly active users as of March 2022. People don't discover our videos unless they search topics which are content related sa mga videos na ina-upload natin. You might wonder bakit yung iba ang dami-daming views, millions, pero tayo mga maliliit na YouTubers Eh, pahirapan pa makakuha ng maski 1,000 views na lang. You know, syempre, hindi naman tayo sikat. Sino ba naman tayo? Hindi <laughs> ba? We are not Ivana Alawi or Alex Gonzaga o kaya si Kong TV. Sino ba ba yung mga sikat na mga artista? Oh, di ko nababanggitin si Senator Rafi Tulfo. Ay, nabanggit ko din. <laughs> so, sila kahit siguro hindi na sila mag-optimize ng mga videos nila, eh, they will still get recommended by YouTube kasi nga, sikat na sila and they have millions and millions of followers. Pero tayo, we need to put a lot of extra work and effort. As in, blood, sweat, and tears. Para ma-optimize at mag -rank yung mga videos natin at maging searchable dito sa YouTube. Diba? So, how can we optimize our videos? First, the most important factor for a YouTube video is the metadata which includes the title, description, and tags. Our videos may not have that many views now, pero remember, since YouTube is a search engine at maraming tao ang gumagamit nito, time will come na magkakaroon din ng maraming views ang mga uploads natin kasi maski old videos na, but if people are searching for a particular content such as tutorials or educational videos, um, entertainment, inspirational, or even reaction videos na ginawa natin, nagra-rank ang mga videos natin, there is a great chance na madidiscover nila ang mga videos natin. However, people will only discover our videos if we use the right keywords for our title, description, and tags. That is why before we start filming our videos, we need to do keyword research para malaman natin kung ano ang mga keywords ang ginagamit ng mga viewers to search for any videos and that is what I'm going to share with you. To help me do keyword research, I use TubeBuddy. Disclaimer lang, I am not promoting TubeBuddy, but I just want to share this with you kasi nga, ito yung nakatulong sa akin para ma-optimize ko yung mga videos ko dito sa YouTube. And I'm sure you have heard of this tool kasi maraming mga YouTubers ang gumagamit nito para ma-optimize din ang kanilang video. So, TubeBuddy is connected to YouTube Kaya safe siyang gamitin at meron din siyang free mobile app that you can download in your Android or iOS device. Pero, syempre, you need to pay for this tool if you link it to your website sa YouTube. Pero, sa mobile app naman, it's free. Okay? 
Kaso, syempre, because it's free, of course, limited din ang mga features na pwede niyong gamitin. The thing is, nagagamit ko yung SEO, which is the Search Engine Optimization. At yun, nakatulong para ma-optimize yung mga videos ko. So guys, ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginagawa ang pag-optimize ng aking video. So, let's go to TubeBuddy. Kailangan yung title natin is makikita natin yung target keyword sa title natin. So, yung title ng video na to is Optimize your videos to rank high on YouTube search. Use the right keywords for metadata. Do not just use random title sa paggawa nyo ng title ninyo. You should include keywords so that when people search for these keywords, your video will show up. Usually, I use longer keywords para kahit ano pa man ang keyword na gamitin nila sa pag-search, lalabas pa rin ang videos ko. So, kagaya niyan, optimize your videos to rank high on YouTube search. Use the right keyword for metadata. So, kung sabihin lang nila, optimize your video, ayan, lalabas din yung aking video. Pag sinabi naman nilang, rank high on YouTube search, lalabas din. Or, pag sinabi nilang, right keywords or metadata, so, lalabas din. At, pero, depende pa yan kung ano ang rank ng keywords or ng tags mo. So, punta tayo sa description. Kung napapansin nyo, guys, ang mga keywords ay may green na highlight. So, kapag nanunod ako ng mga videos, I usually check kung ano ang nakalagay sa description. Kadalasan, yung mga nakikita ko ay mga link ng mga other social media platforms o kaya may nakalagay doon na please enjoy my video, love you all or meron pa please like, comment, and subscribe. Your video description should say something what your video is all about. So, the word is relevance. Kailangan relevant yung description ninyo sa inyong video. So, you need to include relevant keywords in your description. But you have to say it in a natural way para hindi magbukang spam. YouTube provides 5,000 characters for the description, so we need to optimize it. And it's really good if you mention keywords several times para malaman ni YouTube algorithm kung ano ang nilalaman ng videos mo. So remember, the more na clear ang metadata mo, the higher the chance na ma-recommend ni YouTube algorithm ang mga videos mo. So, sa akin, ganito ang ginagawa ko. So, tingnan nyo na lang. Today, I'm going to share with you how to optimize your videos to rank high on YouTube search and how to use the right keywords in your video title, description, and tags or also known as metadata. Kasi ito yung title niya. Siyempre, yung mga viewers, minsan, uh, pag nagustuhan nila yung videos mo, naghahanap pa din sila ng ibang mga videos mo. So, that's why, Kung yung mga older videos mo na related sa current video mo is nakalagay yung link sa baba, may tendency na i-click nila yun. So, ito how I got my YouTube channel monetized in 3 months. Ganyan yung link. How to use a free screen recorder for PC. Ganyan. So, hindi ko nababasahin lahat isa-isa. Papakita ko na lang sa inyo. So, na-notice ko yung mga older videos ko eh, nag-increase din ang views. Pero I'm not sure kung kiniklik din nila ang mga links or, you know, sa end screen, malay natin. Kasi naglalagay din ako ng end screen. Um, kaya if I were you, I you should start optimizing your description box. Okay? So, the next one is the tags. Now, according to YouTube, tags don't matter anymore to rank high on YouTube search. But... I believe that tags still help content creators in optimizing their videos to get discovered. You know, um, see, TubeBuddy, uh, TubeBuddy will help you do that because the main keywords you use in your title should also be included in your tags. Uh, and yung the rest is, bahala na si TubeBuddy, tapos ikaw, dito sa baba, click-click mo na lang ang mga sinasuggest niyang mga tags, alright? And of course, mag-include ka rin ng mga tags na related sa videos mo. Um, again, there are 500 characters for tags, so wala namang masama if you try to optimize your tags, right? So, optimize muna. Okay, so the last one is thumbnail. Ang gusto ko rin sa kay TubeBuddy is that it helps you determine kung gaano ka-appealing sa mga viewers ang thumbnail mo. 
So, ngayon, di ko pa na-upload yung thumbnail ko uh, kasi nagawa ko pa itong video. So, later ko pa i-upload yung thumbnail. But remember, aside from the title and the content of your videos, yung thumbnail also makes the first impression to viewers. So, I include how to create a thumbnail for your YouTube videos in my description box. So, if you're interested, just check it out for yourself. Kasi, kumbaga, first impression ng tao, syempre makikita niya yung thumbnail mo. So, siguro na-optimize mo ang videos mo and you use the right keywords, pero hindi appealing ang thumbnail mo or baka wala kang thumbnail. So, wala rin kasi talo ka sa impression, you know, yung click-through rate. And not only that, kailangan din na mataas ang average view duration or ang retention rate and engagement mo. So, di ko muna tatakayan yan now at mapapahaba na ang ating content. <laughs> okay? So guys, I hope that you have learned something again from this video. If yes, please hit like, comment down below, and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified if I have new uploads. Thanks again for watching. Bye!